Hello, hello. Welcome one and all. Welcome to the Bean Team. It is I, Little Bean, and I am back today with the next episode of our playthrough for the Harvest and Sledathon here on Twisted Wonderland's English server. Look at how precious Apple is here in this little pic. I am so, so glad that we can get him. Uh, if you haven't already, please go check out my banner where I am pulling for SSR Apple. The link will be in the description. Uh, if you haven't already also, I would probably suggest that you check out book one and two that I've already done. That link will also be in the description. But this is part three or book three. So if you guys are all ready, thank you so much for joining me and let's head right in. I'm so excited to see more of Harveston now that we've gone to Apple's house, now that we have gotten changed uh, in our awesome little traditional outfits. I'm so excited to see where we're gonna go next. Let's go. Jade's like so ready. He's been ready for since the beginning. He's like, can we go to the mountain yet? Can we go to the mountain yet? Please, please, can we go to the mountain yet? I just want to go to the mountain. He's ready. Oh my gosh, Edia, of course. We're all ready to go to the mountain. <laughs> can you just imagine these tall, these like absolutely ridiculously tall ass mofos just like poking at the shortest one there? Like, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Mom, can we go? Please, I want to go to the mountain. Oh, we're going to the assembly hall. Interesting. Semex, like, why? I don't want to. I want to go to the mountain already. Oh, that's probably important. We probably need to get the sleds. Guys, that's probably important. <gasps> Can we see Mima? I want to see Mima! <laughs> Show me Mima! <laughs> Yes, I want to meet Mima, please. <gasps> Do we get to meet Mima? Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Mima. Granny Marja. Is it Marja or Maria? Is that it? Do you pronounce the J like a J? Or is it one of those? Is it one of those like... Do you pronounce it like a Y? Ah, I'm going to say Marja until otherwise corrected, okay? If it is Maria, please let me know. I will be saying Marja until corrected. Granny Marja, look at her! <laughs> She's got the accent, too! <laughs> you, know, you know you won't go bring it strong if you're, if you're picky. Oh, immediately Granny's just spilling the tea in front of all his friends like a true grandma, like a true Mima. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them though. Oh, he looks just like her. They're all just sitting there like, oh, look at the, look at the tiny little Granny. Isn't she cute? I mean, I don't know why she wouldn't be. <laughs> Semex like the accents. I I don't understand. Yes, absolutely. Okay, all right. Mima's versatile. She's just switching right into a a more uh, eloquent act voice. Okay, okay. Mima's got some some tricks up her sleeve. Oh. <laughs> Jade's a bit surprised. <laughs> That's kind of fun. She's treating them like Taurus. <laughs> Aw, she's so considerate. I love Mima. <laughs> he'll he'll be our hick interpreter, okay? If we if we don't understand the the proper like hick slang or whatever we'll just get apple to translate look the okay guys look apple and marsha even have little 
matching apple pieces in their hats. Come on, that's too cute. Oh, I like, I like Mima Marja. Idia, you don't say that in front of Granny. Yes, introduce yourselves, boys. Be polite. You're just here for the mountain, Jade. Come on. First name basis already, Zebek. Wow. <laughs> How the hell was I on the same page as Idia for this? Come on. Man. Okay, now that's too formal, Idia. Come on. She's so confused by the tablet. Oh my gosh, I love it. No, no, he's not a city folk. He's just Idia. He's just special like that. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, my name is Claire. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Marja. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. I want to give her a big hug. And also, I, I want her to give her a big hug. And then I want her to pat my head and give me chocolate chip cookies. Oh my gosh. Grip. 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 Ah! This cat. Yeah, seriously. Don't even lie, okay? Yeah. You did not clean up Apple's messes. That's my job. Oh, she's so cute. Absolutely. Actually, that's... Do they even get anything besides bragging rights, of course? If they're... Listen, if they're apples, apple pies, that might be worth it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Graham, why do you care? You're not even part of it. I mean, that's still pretty good. Why wouldn't you want that? You know, well, true. I, that, that's Ruggy thinking there, okay, Graham? You and Ruggy need to just go hang out. That's pretty good. Hey, man, I'll take that. I'll take that. They won in the lot. Okay, hey, I'll take that. That's pretty. Seriously, how much is that? Uh. uh some. Uh. Something tells me that's not that much. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. Sebek doesn't even care. He doesn't want the prize. His prize will be the fact that he is victorious and he can rub it in everyone else's face. He's got it. You got him on the, uh, you got him purely on the competitive spirit. It's good. Oh, we get something. I like getting things. What is this? Does he have a braid? I love it. He has a braid. I love it. What anime sites are there in Harvest in Idia? <laughs> I don't know what you think you came here for. All right. I mean, at least we got Edia. That's good. All right, we're over by the assembly hall still. I thought this was Apple's house. Yay, we get our sleds. Oh, okay. Need fabric, right? Ah, okay. 
That's right, that's right. I wonder what animals they'll choose. That's the point, Sebek. You gotta have fun with it. Oh, that's good. Yes, it's scrap. That's fine. Listen, st stuffed animals made of scrap fabric are so cute. No, it's, you know, you waste not what not, you know? Mm-hmm. Cool, I like that. What? Freaking Richie Rich Boys here being picky all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Just pick some, Sebek. Exactly. So just shut your... Oh, hang on. Will it? I mean, if that's the case, we should probably point out Apple, then which ones are best? Because you would know, right? That's true. Edia made his picks, okay. I guess Edia would know, right? He could probably analyze like the different fabrics and figure out which one is more aerodynamic or whatnot, right? The of course, of course. <laughs> High performance blushy. Oh my goodness. Leave it to Edia. Stop. Stop. Edia. Stop. That's cute. I like that. Alright, Sebek. That's good. That's a good choice. Whatever it is, it is a good choice. Fair enough. Yeah, Jade, focus on your own thing. You've made some choices. I don't know, that smile is very sneaky. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not for that purpose. There's definitely some sneaky going on. Aww. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at him. Obviously he was. Look at Marja. She's, she is charm incarnate. Of course, Ethel would have been charming as well. <laughs> we gotta drop the tea some more, eh, Mima? <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I could see why. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Reverse tag. I mean, basically, I guess. Oh. They just want my tag. <laughs> They didn't want to make Apple A because they knew they'd be out automatically. Like, come on. Apple. Apple. This is not a good idea. Apple. <laughs> Ooh, immediately. Yeah, he come on crying all the time. Aww. Sure you did, Apple. Mm -hmm. You tell us that with that big grin on your face. Mm -hmm. How many did you win? I mean, we still call him that. Mima, we still call him that. He's still the poison apple of the Felmy family. He's all nice and sweet until, you know, he gets in your face and then he turns into a feral child and attacks you. Exactly.
because those don't sound as cool, okay? I like the poison apple of the family family, all right? I like that. It fits with the family motif. I, I agree, Jade. Idia, you shut your face, okay? I like, I personally like poison apple, okay? Don't take advice from Idia, okay? Just don't. I like poisoned apple. These, these boys don't understand, okay? They're dummies. Yep, we got our fabrics picked. Ooh, oh, they're different animals. Yes, how do they, how do they get to so if they don't pick out an animal, Sebek. Of course. Yeah, seriously, don't don't push the old lady. Mm, you might want to think twice. An octopus. He definitely just wants, he definitely just wants there to be a thing. So it looks like Azul is the one push, pulling the sled, his sled specifically. He wants to make Azul work for him. That's kind of funny. <laughs> he, yeah, he def, this was definitely a dig at Azul, 100%. Yeah, <laughs> Idiot understood that exactly. He's like, eesh. Okay. Yeah, squirrels, raccoons, deer. Okay. Ooh, a reindeer. Nice choice. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I mean, it's it's right there, Mountain Lovers Club, right? <laughs> He's gonna go for a reindeer too because his favorite anime waifu's got that. I mean, that's fair, you know? Nice. Okay. <laughs> Idia, weren't you just talking about the fact that you're gonna go for a reindeer? Now he wants a bear. Yeah, why? <laughs> oh my god. Literally, it's 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 he's a freaking hipster. He's a, like well, I can't go with reindeer. Everyone else is picking reindeer, so I gotta go with something else to be different. Oh my gosh. He probably doesn't even care. It's probably just like a, nah, I just want it to be like something else. Then why choose a bear? Don't look at Grim that way, okay? Seriously! Oh my god, he's breaking out the stat sheets, guys. He's breaking out... Ah, ah, ah. Talking to Idia in person would drive me insane, okay? I, I love him as a character. I think he's hilarious. Like, there's no end of comedy when he's around. But at the same time, speaking to him in real life would drive me insane. Okay. But... It, but <laughs> Why? Then why take it? Oh, Idia, you've never raced before. You're a beginner too, you dumbass. Seriously. 
how exactly? I'm face palming so hard right now, guys. Oh my god. Oh, idiot. I, I pity him a little bit. Just a bit. Just slightly. Of course there's a game adaptation. And of course Idia has played it. And of course he's beaten every level of it. Oh my lord. I'm glad that Jade stuck with the reindeer, okay? Please don't listen to Idia. Ooh, I'm actually curious what Apple's gonna pick. Because his decision, like, he knows this best, right? So... Ooh, rabbit! Good choice! I would pick a rabbit too, but that's just because I love rabbits. I really do. I have a rabbit hoodie! I said I'd wear it at some point, but you guys can't see my face, so there'd be no point because you can't see my rabbit hoodie. <laughs> I love rabbits. I also like being cats, but I prefer rabbits. Oh, you had a pet rabbit! Cute. Uh-oh. Aw, poor thing. Aw. He became friends with the rabbit. He's so cute. He's kind of like you, Apple. I mean, that's usually how animals are, right? You. <laughs> like, no, I want to be the favorite. Don't pick them. I'd that would be awesome. Yes, you should do it for your old friend, Ethel. Absolutely, it'll got some. It has great speed, probably. All right, Sebek, what have you decided? Okay. He's so confident about it. Yeah. No, don't let Idiot pick his freaking th Don't. Yeah, how about no? Oh my god. At, le at least don't be a dick about it, Idiot. Actually, having Apple choose is probably for the best. It really is. A squirrel! I love it. Yes. Yes, I like it. Do it. Have a squirrel. You should do a crocodile just because it fits. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, hey, wait, I thought you didn't have a preference. I, I, I'm behind the squirrel. Let's do the squirrel. Uh-huh. I mean, that seems fair. Oh my gosh, Sebek. Just go with it. Yeah, seriously. Now we're fighting over this stuff. Oh, Lord. I... Idiot! <laughs> he's getting into it. He's going to play onto his, like... He's gonna start like telling Sebek all the positive traits that a squirrel has so that we can all shut up and get on with it. <laughs> it's pretty good, all right. Oh my god, this feels so this feels so fake. It's so fake and it's so obviously fake, but Sebek can't tell. And he's buying it too. The fact that Sebek falls for it is just. Ah! Oh my god. He's gonna take the squirrel. God. Seriously. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thanks, Idia. Probably not. But. Oh my god. <laughs> Knowing Sebek, 
He, he technically didn't lie, but... Look at these two. They're such conspirators, I swear. This entire trip is basically just two evil plotters and then two, like one sweet child who is secretly a feral child and one absolutely ignorant fae. Like, this is such a random collection of people, but I, I kind of like it. I like when random groups are put together in events like this, because you don't always get to see how they interact, you know? Courage? Who needs courage? Do we need courage? We probably do. You gotta sew, too? Can we sew? Oh! Mima Marja coming in with the save. Thank you. That's a lot of work. I would agree. We should get her something nice in return. You know what? That... That... That makes sense. Hey, but me... Mima Marja can use magic! That's so cool! We never know who in someone's family can or cannot use magic, right? So... We'll leave everything to Mima! I... I agree. Let's leave it to Mima. She's got it. That's a good idea. I want to see the place. Oh, I guess we can do that while uh, Mima is finishing our animals, right? Oh, she's so sweet. Two or three hours. All right. Thanks, Mima. Oh, I love her so much. Oh my gosh. Edia, stop. <gasps> Do we get food? I want to get food. I can't believe I'm on the same thing as Grim here. But yes, I want to get food. I, I always love... One of the things I always love about these events is getting to see all the local specialties, okay? I think it's always great. Me too. I want to see what's going on. What is that? Oh, okay. What is it then, Ethel? Okay. I mean, I, I don't know what I expected, but okay. We, we, we can wash our hands. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes sense, you know? I mean, that's kind of cute, not gonna lie. You know, a little reference there to the dwarves in the mine, but like... <laughs> Fair enough. Ugh, that sucks. Are we on a mountain? Or I guess we, like, maybe we're at least at some elevation? True. I think, you know, that that's fair. Ooh, we can go... <gasps> Oh, yes, let's go wash our hands at the well. I love doing that. Yes. No, you gotta do it the old fashioned way, Edia. Seriously. That's where the courage thing comes from. Okay, step back. He'll do it too. Don't ever dare Sebek to do anything because he'll do it. Just to, sh just to show you up, okay? Just to prove that he can. He'll do it. Oh, but wait. Sebek doesn't like cold things. But he'll still do it. Just as a point of pride. You know he will. Yeah, you can do it, Sebek. <laughs> you can do it. It's very cold. All 
All right, Edia, now you're up. He you did it. You can do it. It's, yeah, been there. Jay, Jay will probably be like, eh, whatever. I mean, he grew up in the cold dark of the Coral Sea, right? So he's probably like, eh, whatever. Oh my gosh, Jade, stop. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> yeah, but Apple, you grew up here. You're used to this. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, not in the cold water. Grim, did you wash your paws? Did you scrub with soap? Yeah, how much earlier? Get him, Apple. Get him! Wash your paws. Oh, we got a wish at the well. Yes. Well, then we got to do it, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like it. Make a wish to win this race because we're the best team. Yeah, absolutely sounds like fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, kind of like a sports team almost. Of course, why wouldn't he be? There's all sorts of scenes in anime where all the waifus like huddle together and make a wish, right? Yep. As if I'm right on frickin' cue. Oh my god, Idia, please. You make it too easy, Idia. That's the problem. You're making it too easy. As long as it gets him to participate. Yes, I wish for us to do well in the Sledathon! That's all right. Sure. I'll, I can agree with that. When do you not wish for that, Grim? I'm, I'm reading all your wishes, okay? You know what? Both of these are valid, but I... I feel like the second one is somewhat inevitable, so I wish for us to have a good time at the Sledathon. Yeah, a little bit. Well, you guys are probably all talking over each other. You know what? You could do worse, Apple. <laughs> You could do better, Apple, but you also could do worse. Ooh, I like that pun. Piping hot apple pie. I love me some apple pie. Let's go. Oh, look at this place. Look at this place. I love the little shops. Oh my God. Look at the hanging lights. They're apples. Look at this place. Oh my God. It's so cute. I love it. There's so many tourists. 
I love it. I want a background of this. Please give me a background of this. True, true. I just, I just want this background. It's so cute. This would be like a perfect Christmas background, okay? With all the little shops and the lights hanging overhead. I bet. Tourists come in droves, you know? Freaking Jade, of course. Oh, Coco Market, that's so cute. That's cool. I like that. It means bonfire in ancient Shafalan language. That just makes me think, what what language did they use to model for the Shaflands, you know? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we got the bonfire there. Now, are those lights or are those actually apples? Okay, so they are lamps. All right. I just had like two. Do not. You know what? At least Apple's taking it well. Ooh, apple juice. Yes. Yeah, seriously. Is it free? Ooh, apple tea. <gasps> yeah, I want some apple tea. That's awesome. Yes, in this weather, I could go for something hot. I want some apple tea. That's also acceptable. Apple ginger tea sounds delicious. That makes sense for Jade. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Please. My god. Grim, you can only have one. You can only have one. I believe in you, Apple. I think you can do it. Thanks, Apple! Mm, that sounds really good. I wonder if it's more on the sweeter side, if it's like more crisp. Nice! Oh, that's... Oh, that's gotta be yummy. Mmm, yum. That's... that's what I would like. They have apple pieces floating in the tea. Oh, yes. I bet it would be. <gasps> they put honey in it! Yes! Oh... So tasty. Mm, that just makes me want a hot drink now. Yep. Did he seriously get one drink of each for Grim? Apple, you didn't have to go that far. You didn't have to go that far. Stop it, Grim. You're gonna embarrass me. Mm, probably apple sweets. <gasps> yes, apple pie. I love apple pie. Eh? It's just this massive apple pie. What? A five meter diameter apple pie okay why is it so big what oven what what oven is big enough for that why is everything free seriously everything is free mm, that does sound really good though can we ask him why it's free? I've never in my life have I been to a festival where there's just all this food and drink for free. Mm, 
I will definitely take some apple pie. Yum. Toothsome. A toothsome experience. I've never, ever seen that in my entire life. But at the same time, it definitely fits for Sebek. A toothsome experience. What? I'm going to have to look that up later. What does it even mean? I've never used this to describe anything. He's going to burn his tongue. It's hot apple pie. Oh, it's caramelized apple slices. Oh, this is just making me hungry too. Yeah, you did. Well, stop eating it for two seconds and let your tongue heal. I mean, he is feral. He's basically feral. Yeah, seriously. Jay's just sitting here like, man, I didn't do anything and I'm getting all this free stuff. Man, Azul would be so jealous I'm getting all these free things. I wonder what else is going on. Apple competition? Yeah, no, I don't think that's how it works, Grim. Mmm, interesting. So what, the green apples don't count then, I guess? Uh... That, I mean, that makes sense. That's cool. I like it. So they just like, did they like place the apples on a table or something? And the judge is just going through, like scrutinizing all the apples, see which one is the most red. I mean, sure, why not? Grim. Grim. What if I want to go, Grim? Is there other apple stuff? Oh, look at these! They're so cool. I love them. I mean, there's probably a whole bunch of them. They all probably make different, you know, their apple pie is slightly different from one another. That's true. That's true, I would imagine. Of course not. Why would it be? Uh, I would like one that's a little bit on the sweeter side. Definitely caramelized apples. You gotta go that way. Um, with a bit of a thinner crust, because I find on the crust they're too thick, it just it, it takes it all out, you know? Mm. <gasps> Maybe with a little bit of maple on it. That'd be, mm, that'd be so tasty. That's interesting. Diced apple sounds interesting. I, I would like the more caramelized texture because I, I I don't know I just personally prefer that. I mean I would imagine that yeah this the apple ones are probably. Oh that's cool. I mean that would make sense right? I mean, you guys are just making me drool by describing all of this food because it's making me hungry. <laughs> if you if you give someone a harvest an apple pie, they'll they'll do anything you ask, okay? I'm gonna do that next time. Next time. Uh next time I really, really want any of my twist boys to come home. I'll just bring some apple pie and I will offer it to them as I as I do my polls, okay? Be like, please, please, you can't say no to the delicious harvest and apple pie. Please come home and you can have it. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's so delicious. 
as they should be. I mean, they're literally everywhere, so. Yeah, poor. We need some more young people in here, eh? Aww, a handful of babies. That's so cute. Okay, I mean, fair. Oh, they're old fashioned. Probably. We need some more young people, eh? Oh, that's curious. Okay. You know what? I like hearing about this. So this is kind of what Ethel is looking into. Because, you know, every time we come here, we always hear a little bit more about somebody and, like, what they're thinking of. I'm not going to spoil anything for the Temash Namina event that, uh, Le that was recently in the Japanese server that featured Leona. But we got to hear a little bit more about his idea for his country and what he's kind of, like, looking for and looking to do. So this is kind of interesting. Apple's... I guess vision for his village is he wants it to incorporate more technology since people are, you know, getting older and there isn't enough young people to balance it out. So yeah, going into more like agricultural technologies and chemistry. That 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 makes sense. I, I like that. Yeah, that's great. Aww. You're interrupting here, Grim, okay? Ooh, berries, nice. Why not? Let's go check it out. Mmm, that all sounds really good. That all sounds really good. From the mountain, oh, nice. I want all of it. Oh my goodness, Jade is just like, yes, the goods. The bounty of the mountain, I'm here for this. Ha! Ah, he just went into the scientific names for all of it. Okay, okay, Jade, Jade, you gotta back it up a little bit there, Jade. Jade! Jade! He's so excited, look at him. Yep. You know what, Sebek? I was never very good at... I was never good at it myself, so, yeah. And, of course, Edia thinks they're mecha names. There's private woods? You could do that in Twisted Wonderland? I mean, that's fair, you know? <laughs> At, please tell me you sell them at exorbitant prices because I feel like as tourists, that's kind of what, what it's done, right? Oh my gosh, stop. I'm going to bury him in the snow. I'm going to bury him in the snow, forget about him. Grim, stop! Exactly. Exactly, you tell him, Apple. little bit at a time. Sometimes, Grim, that is true, but for, for specific reasons like this, this is why we do it. Yeah, from all snow and avalanches and whatnot, right? Exactly. <laughs> Idiot. Some bulk purchases? Like what? Please, please speak English, Jade. Please. He's so excited. Look at him. Listen. Listen, mister. I came here for the waifus. I don't want to hear that from you, okay? Jade is allowed to be freaking weird about his little, like, mountain climbing hobby and... 
the fact that he's funky about fungi, okay? He's allowed to be funky about fungi. You, on the other hand, Mr. Cringe. Seriously. I want to see. Ooh, they got some tribe fish. What is it? I wonder what kind of fish it is. True, true. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Let's get some. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Mm, this all sounds really yummy, Apples. Stop doing this. Himself. He's buying them for himself, obviously. Yeah, see. Yeah, no, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not I'm not either. I swear. Aw, yes! Let's get everyone's souvenirs. <laughs> Let me just like <sighs> I guess if I have to, I'll get something for silver. If I'm forced, my hand is forced here. I absolutely must get something for silver. My goodness. Wow, Zebek, must be so hard for you. Yes, let's go. That's perfect. That's perfect. There's nothing better than a local craft as a souvenir for someone. As someone who has traveled and has gotten gifts from people who have traveled, absolutely, 100%. Can't go wrong there. All right, is, the, is this title gonna be about Jade or about Edia? Let's call it right now. Jade or Edia, let me know. Let's see. I think it's gonna be about one of the two of them. What's there? Ooh, cool, I wanna see. I mean, that makes sense. Yes, I wanna see, what do they got? What do they got? Ooh, cool. It's pretty cool, all right. He already knows what he's buying? The bird whistles! Oh, those are cute. I love it. Blue bird whistles. Although, I wonder why he chose whistles for the two of them. That's kind of cute. All right. There's a purpose here. I need to know what the purpose is here. Come on, Jade. It's not that easy. Tell me. He's getting them as a troll gift, isn't he? He's getting them 100% as a troll gift. They would hate them. They would abs- No, Floyd might like it. Floyd might be like, hey, this is kind of fun. And we would be like going around blowing the stupid whistle in everyone's ear just to piss them off. Azul would think it was absolutely worthless, okay? Yes, get something for Ortho. Um, I guess anything that his mind can work at, right? I don't know, let's see. What's up? Ooh, a wooden 3D puzzle? That'd be cool. That's cute. Yeah, that might be good. He puts it together immediately. A see? That's why you don't bring Edia to one of these things, okay? 
Idia. Stop that. The rabbit one might be good. Idia, stop showing off. This is why you don't bring Idia to something like this, okay? He's trying to help you, Idia. He's trying to help you and you're throwing it away. He cannot read a room. Oh my god, Sebek, stop. Don't even, don't even try, okay? You're trying to beat a cheetah at a race. Stop it. <laughs> Give me the hardest one. Ooh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Ortho would love it. <laughs> All right, he'll get that one. Do not. Idia, do not. Oh my God, Idia, please. this man oh my god idiot please what puzzle is it of course it's a cat of course it's a cat Oh my lord. I can't, I can't, I can't with Idia. Oh my god, Idia, stop. Listen, okay. So Idia was referring to himself there. So we know, we finally know Idia is talking about himself. When he mentions the super fan. Okay. The thing is though, let's face it guys, we've all at least bought one thing in our lives that we then regretted after buying it. And there's a, oh, there, for each one of us, there's always been at least one thing that we didn't buy. And then later we're like, oh my God, I should have bought that. Hands down, it's happened to me many times. Sebek probably doesn't buy a lot of stuff, okay? What are you gonna get? Ah, the squishy cushions. Ooh. Get some cushions. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get some cushions. Hey, that's pretty good, all right? I'll, I'll take anything that's half off. <laughs> He's gonna get something special for silver. 100% it would. Because we gotta get something for silver. We can't walk away with nothing. Cuckoo clock. Ooh, yes. Perfect for silver. That's cute. I like it. 11. That's pretty late. Huh? He's gonna get a cuckoo clock for him. I like that though. I mean, that makes sense for Silver. He can add it to his collection of like, what? Three, four alarm clocks that he's got in the morning. Now he's got a cuckoo clock as well that can wake him up. I should get some souvenirs, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should get something for everyone. I don't know if I have the money to get something for everyone, but I'll try. Ooh. 
some snacks. That's a good idea, Apple. Oh, Apple. Apple, you know me too well. I love garlic flavored things. Please show me what you got. Mm, you're speaking my language, Apple. Show me what you got. That all sounds delicious. I need to see what you got. Snack time. I don't know what I found, but I apparently found something. Hopefully Ace and Deuce will like them because if they don't, I'm gonna smack them. I mean, it's gotta be beauty products, right? <laughs> I feel like Rook would love all of that, but especially a hunting knife, you know? Why wouldn't he? It's his hometown, right? Absolutely, 100%, and that's what's important. They should. What do we got? For Vil, absolutely, 100%. Get him some soap. Okay, Vil 100% would love some handcrafted, like old folksy, you know, 100% organic products. Like, he'd love it. That's perfect for Vil. Mmm, <coughs> yummy. He'll love it. Excuse me. <coughs> Goodness me. He'll love it. Apple, just get it from him. He'll love it. Oh, he's getting it for both of them. That's good. They'll both love it. Yay. Oh, I want to go see all the stuffed animals. Let's go see them. Absolutely, Meemaw's the best. I can already tell just by looking at her. All right. I guess it is the assembly hall. I don't know why I thought the assembly hall was like Apple's house. Meemaw, we're back, Meemaw! Yeah. <laughs> you should've. I wanna see. Sure thing, chicken wing. I love Mima so much. I love Mima. Mar Mima Marsha is my favorite. The mayor has come to see us. Okay, hi, hi. Hi. Yeah, I feel a bit like Edia right now. I'm just kind of like, uh, the mayor of the town is just like talking to us. Okay. H hi. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he has to, right? Yes, absolutely. They won three years in a row? That's pretty good. <laughs> well, if this old guy's that good, of course. What's up? Oh no! Seriously? Is this a comedy routine? This is a comedy routine, right? It's definitely a comedy routine. Yeah, seriously, what? Oh my God, this is embarrassing. I feel that, Apple. That is some se that is some secondhand embarrassment right there. I feel that. That's one hundred percent not cool. This is this is definitely some like Harvest style comedy routine. 
You know he's lying, right? The mayor is lying. That can't be real. He has to be lying, right? Yeah, seriously. EDF pointing that out. Oh no, why can't you get someone else? Is there no one else? What? Maybaw's getting in there, what? She morphed. Oh Lord. Okay. Jeez, Mima, Mima Marjo's getting competitive. Oh my gosh, Mima is super competitive. Yeah, we just got wet. We just went from hey guys, we're just this for some fun to you got to get first place or else Mima will be disappointed. And I feel like I can't disappoint Mima. Yeah, straight up. This is just a bunch of noobs here, okay? Except for Ethel. Straight up, it's like t town solidarity, okay? She just straight up, we can't let some nobody from nowhere like win our thing. That's just not happening. <laughs> Even the mayor is just like, okay, well, lady, geez, like, be, be a little bit more, like, respectful of the youngins here. You've never sledded before. Oh my gosh, Marja. I, I mean, technically, yeah, but, like, what's happened to Mima? I, I, yeah, but we just, we haven't even practiced yet. Granny's a bit competitive there. No, really? Huh. I mean... This is one hella competitive granny. Man, this is like... Baseball in the US or like hockey in Canada, like everyone's just going crazy and like the winning team has to win anytime like there's celebrations for the winning team, but there's celebrations and like riots when they lose, okay? Like uh, except this is like the one thing that Mima like loses her shit over, okay? Yep. It runs in the family. We seen Mima's feral side. Apple comes by it honestly. Oh, okay, Mima. We're, we'll try our best. We'll try our best, Mima. Seriously, I don't want to mess with her. I, l I still absolutely love me, Mama Marva, but she scares me a bit. Toot, toot sweet. I love, I love her. <laughs> toot sweet. Yep, okay, all right. Yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. We'll go right away, right now we're going. Oh my god, she's back to being sweet again. What's going on here? I want to see them. Please show them. I want to see them, please. Oh my gosh, Sebek, please. Just... <sighs> cute. It's a bit cute. Are they? I mean, you guys do have to put magic in them, so it's, you know. 
I trust them. Mima Marja made them, so I trust them. Yeah, absolutely. You know Sebek is gonna get the most attached. Just because he's the one doing this, you know Sebek's gonna get the most attached. Who would not have a stuffed animal as a kid? I had like 10 gajillions. I have some now when I'm an adult. Uh-huh, sure. Sure. All right, Sebek, you say that, but okay. It's not healthy. That's... I mean... Maybe that... It, you know, this explains a lot of things, I feel. Like... We, we did it, guys. We just figured out... Why he needs therapy. Oh, boy. Oh. This, this explains so much. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Alright. I mean... Jade was a merman, right? Like, there just wasn't plushies under the water? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. But it, do they have, like, toys? Fair enough. So did you have, like, a favorite toy, Jade? Oh, we don't get to find out. That sucks. Come on, you guys are all liars. Edia. Like what? He made his own ro I mean, no, that does not surprise me. Literally, Apple surrounded himself with like the three people who for some reason never had stuffed animals. Cute. Don't say that, Jade. That's a great talent. I'd love to be able to have the talent where people could just give me stuffed animals. I love stuffed animals. Oh, that's cute. Oh, just like oh, blessed be we have been sent a child for our hometown. Thank goodness. Let's give him all the stuffed animals. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, Mima, she's in. Yes, ma'am. We're sorry. We're going to the hill right now. I mean the mountain. I mean, we're we're already out the door. We're we're gone. We're out the door. Let's go, boys. I don't want to keep Mima. You know, we're sitting there waiting. Oh, we're heading over to the mountain. Okay. Ooh, we're at the start line. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Cool, I like it. I bet. Oh my goodness, it sounds dangerous. Oh, interesting. That makes sense. Yeah, if like one person's lagging behind, then, you know, the, it'll add up that time, right? Thirty teams? That's a lot. That's kind of cool, though. Fair enough. Yeah, for such a tiny village, I'm. That's pretty good. Thirty teams. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. But still, 30 teams is pretty good. Oh my gosh, Mima, she's on us. 
<laughs> Mima is just like relentless. She's like, I don't want to hear no answers or buts about it. You're winning or not. Oh my gosh, Mima. You're in it to win it. <laughs> just, just nod. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We found Mima Marshall's feral side. Ethel comes by it very honestly. It's just that for her, it's apparently about the slut -a -thon, and for Ethel, it's if you call him cute. Okay, okay, sorry, ma'am. We're, we're, we're going right now. Okay. That's, that's the point, right? You have to like, I'd, I'd assume if I'm thinking the kind of like old fashioned slut, you gotta like crouch down a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Mush, of course, like a like a sled dog. G and ha. Let's say whoa. They are. The, I was gonna say they are the same calls on horseback riding, or at least similar, right? Well, it's kind of like that, I guess, right? Huh. Interesting. That's cool. Oh, I want to see Apple ride. Let's go. You can do it, Apple. Yeah, but at the same time, if you uh, if you underestimate your competition, Idia, <laughs> Jade's like anything but the brooms. All right. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna be that easy. Oh, he's going backwards. <laughs> He can't control it properly. That's cute. Okay, this is cute. I like Jade is just so amused. He's like, mm, interesting. I didn't expect this outcome. Well then. <laughs> He's so amused by it. Where's Edia? Ah, oh, he's speeding up. Edia! <laughs> And he's out. All right. Oh, Lord. It, yeah, it is. Okay. You got to be a bit different about it, eh? All right. <laughs> Would have been helpful to have mentioned a bit sooner, Apple, admittedly. God. <laughs> I mean, Mima, you're kind of putting the pressure on them. They've never slid, sled, slidden before. They'll be good. That's it. Yeah, that's good. True. We got to whip him into shape. Cute. I feel bad. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> okay, that's fair. I can do that. Yeah, all right. We can do it. Let's get practicing.
Now to be familiar, uh, familiar. I see. I'm reading the word familiar. To be fair, I even though usually I do like ten chapters at a time, I kind of want to finish part three. So I'm just gonna keep going until part three is done. Just do like part three in its entirety, and then you know, call it there. Oh, we're on the racetrack. Oh. Oh, good. They're getting the hang of it. Good. Aw, he would be a really good teacher about it. Aw, so cute. Idia. Of course they do. Nice. I would imagine it's someone who rides a sled. Oh my gosh, Jade. That's very cute. That's very cute, Jade. That's good. <laughs> you know what, Edia? That's fine. Take it. Take it. You've unlocked the title of Musher. It's good. Good point. Edia, just take it. True. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Call it obsessive. He's a little bit obsessive, Apple. Just a bit. Tea break! I'm good for a tea break. Let's do it. Yes, tea time, tea time. When in Harveston, do as the Harvestonians. I'm gonna call them that, Harvestonians. Let's do it. Tea time. They have pit stops on the mountain, that's good. Absolutely. I, I, Enjoy the fact that there are just pit stops on the mountain, although it's gotta suck for the people who work in those pit stops. Aww, how sweet of her. Aww, of course. Well, now that we're her only team, you know. Yeah, Jade, I don't doubt it. Grandma is way too into it. I uh, sure, why not? Seriously. Exactly. It's not for you, Grim. Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Huh. Gee, thanks, Sebek. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can't just assume. Oh my god. Grandma, you know what? He probably just make it worse anyway. <laughs> I, I can't even say whether I agree or disagree with that statement, Seba, because really, it could go either way. We throwing snow at each other over here. <laughs> Get him! Hey, hey. <laughs> Jade got him! Oh, no, he got. He got got. Oh, Grim got him. He's gonna take it way too seriously. He's about to take this way too seriously. Get him! Get the cat! I'm definitely joining. It's my turn! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 
Get me. Come on, Grim. Let's go. I'm getting Idia next. Absolutely. Get him, Grim. <laughs> Let's go. Uh huh. Oh. Oh crap, we hit someone. Tiny human? Oh, they hit a kid. Of course. Even though he was just part of the whole thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh no! No, they're gonna ruin! No! No! <laughs> Guys, we're done! Guys, we're done! It's the dwarves! Oh lord! No, the dwarves are here! Oh my gosh! They absolutely... It's the dwarves! It's the... Ah! I remember them. I do. Ah. That's why I didn't ask you, Idia. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got a cinnamon rolls? A, absolutely, apple. Oh, God. It's the, it's the dwarves. The, everyone, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's the end of book three. Okay, all right. I said we were gonna keep going until book three ended and guess book three is done. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, well, I guess this is it. Oh, come on, they had to leave us on a freaking cliffhanger of the stupid dwarf showing up so that they can ruin everything. Ah, I have such a grudge against these freaking dwarves because they ruined my boy's fun, okay? I'm such a pop stand in this case and they ruined my boy's fun, not just Bill, but they're gonna ruin Apple's fun too, okay? I don't approve of this. I'm kind of pissed off. All right, I feel like I'm, I'm about to go as feral as me and my Marshall on this, okay? We gotta beat them. We gotta beat these little freaking dwarves, all right? My, my competitive spirit has been fired up. But that was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we got to like tour the market and have some tasty snacks and buy some souvenirs. But hands down, hands down, the best part of that book is definitely Mima Marja. Who does not love Mima Marja? If I, I, I cannot find anyone who would not like her, okay? She's awesome, amazing. She She's incredible, astounding, and she is the moment. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you had a lot of fun. Um, I did. I know I did. And uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about this part of the event and what was your favorite part. Mine, of course, Mima Marsha, as I said. But uh, thanks so much. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more and leave a like to so that I know that you actually enjoyed me kind of freaking out a little bit and going through the Harveston Festival because, yeah, it's so nice. And uh, so I'm hoping that books, I think there was five books in total. So I'm hoping books four and five will come out soon. And when they do, I will be ready to uh, record those. But in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can hit the towers in Chapter 6. And until the next time I see everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to take care of yourselves and each other. And for now, my bean team, my little beanies, this is Little Bean signing out. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>